first we're going to draw our rocket. We're going to start with a triangle at the top middle of your paper. Then we're going to make a rectangle. Inside our window will be a circle or an oval, two triangles on the side for the wings, two diagonal lines and a horizontal line to make the tail of the rocket. Now we're going to use a variety of different kinds of lines to make the explosion coming out of our rocket. I started with a straight line, then I did a zigzag line, next a wavy line, try doing a loop-de-loop, -loop, going around and around and around, maybe a dashed line or a broken line with small lines all lined up. This one's a little tricky, I call it a castle line, where you almost make square type lines. In the empty spaces, I added some circles to be planets or stars, and if you want to do that, you can. Now we're going to practice tracing. I'm going to take my black marker and I'm going to pretend it's like a tightrope walker. And my pencil is my tightrope. I want it to go really slowly on top of my lines and I don't want it to fall off. So I'm not drawing anything new, I'm just taking my marker and going on top of my pencil lines. We're just going to use the black marker to trace over our rocket and if you made any planets or stars around your rocket going very slowly to stay on top of my pencil lines. With your rainbow markers, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, we'll go over our rocket explosion. So that's a rainbow explosion of lines. So I'm going to start with Mr. Red, then I'm going to tightrope walk with orange, next comes yellow, my loop-de-loop -loop line will be green. My dashed line is going to be blue, and I'm still just going on top of my pencil. I don't want to fall off. I'm going very slowly to go over my castle line with my purple. We're going to trace again, but this time we're going to use a paintbrush. The best place to hold the paintbrush is on the grip not super far down on the handle, and not super close to the bristles at the top. We want to be right on the grip in the middle of your paintbrush. I'm going to get my water, and I'm going to go very slowly. I'm just going over my rainbow lines. So I'm going tightrope walking with my paintbrush, just going on top of my red line. Next comes orange. And as you can see, as I'm painting, I'm rinsing off my brush in between my colors so it's nice and wet for my new color. Now I'm going to do my blue and I'm just staying on top of my lines. As you can see the water is kind of blending the marker and letting it spread out. It's very pretty.